Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back friends. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. Uh, I hope all of you are well and fine. Today in this video lecture we are going to see albumin blood test. Albumin blood test is actually the liver related blood test. Okay, so today in this video we are going to explain albumin te blood test in detail. So my name is Muhammad Kamla Khan and you guys watching my channel Kami Microbiologist. So let's start the video. First of all, what we are going to explain in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will see that what is albumin. Then we will explain albumin test. Then we will see the function of albumin. Then we will explain that why the albumin test is performed. Then we will see the test procedure of albumin test. Then we will see the normal range of albumin in the body. Then we will explain the main causes of high and low albumin. And then we will see the treatment of high and low albumin first of all let's see the introduction so albumin is actually a very small protein and its weight is 66 kilo delton and it is the most common and most abundant protein in our body the albumin is mostly synthesized in the liver cells which we call it hepatocytes and it is mostly found in the egg milk meat and vegetable etc moreover albumin is uh, 60 means albumin can make plasma protein 60 percent remember that if we talked about the half life of the albumin so it is 20 days so what is albumin so albumin test is actually the test in which we determine the albumin level in the blood then we have the function of albumin so the main function of albumin is to regulate the blood volume and blood pressure to transport the substance like calcium, sodium, potassium, uh, thyroxine, which we call it T4, bilirubin, uh, fatty acid, metal oils, medicine, vitamin D, vitamin E, etc. So, albumin can transport these substances to the specific area where they can easily perform their function then we have the pH so the blood pH that is maintained so it is due to albumin albumin can also activate the immune system during infection and albumin can also uh, promote the wound healing process then we have the diagnostic purpose why this test is performed so this test is mostly performed to diagnose the liver and kidney diseases and function we can say like that Moreover, this test is also used to assist or to monitor the malnutrition and inflammatory disease. Malnutrition means if there is no vitamins and protein and minerals is absorbed in the blood or if it is not taken, we call it malnutrition. This test is also recommended for the hypo and hyperalbuminia to check hypo and hyperalbuminia. When the albumin level get high, we call it hyperalbuminia. Uh, when it get low, we call it hypoalbuminia. Then we have the requirements. So for this test, we need blood in the gel tube, red top and heparin tube. We need yellow tip. We need centrifuge machine. We need a biochemistry analyzer. That is the uh, bio base machine. We need a... Uh, uh, albumin kit in animal company or you can use any other company so this is all about the requirements in this case we also need advanced machine like uh, selectra and uh, meglomi mendre etc now how to perform the test first of all you need the blood in gel tube red top and green top then you will centrifuge it to separate the serum and plasma after that you have to run the test on a machine like selectra semi-automated machine like we have chemistry analyzer like a micro lab machine okay dear viewers now if you ask a question that how to perform the test so it's very simple i already explained the calcium test magnesium test 
so the same test is also for the albumin means you have to take 1000 microliter of the albumin kit and you will mix 10 microliter of the serum and you will incubate it for one minute and then you will uh, check the level of albumin using chemistry analyzer so it's very simple using uh, 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 means taking the test on chemistry analyzer so this is about the procedure then we have the normal range so in adult the normal range is 3.5 to 4.8 gram per deciliter in children the normal range is 2.9 to 5.5 gram per deciliter then we have the main causes of uh, hyperalbuminemia so it is due to the severe or we can say extreme diarrhea and vomiting it is due to dehydration the hyperalbuminia is also due to steroidal drug when the patient use steroidal drugs or insulin it is also due to the birth control piles if the pregnant woman or if the woman using a medicine that can control the birth or we can say that can you know uh, if the woman do not want their self to be pregnant so for that purpose the woman using uh, some type of the medicine okay we call that birth control piles if a pe person using a high protein diet so uh, due to aging due to hemolysis and blood transfusion the albumin level get high in the blood then we have the main causes of low albumin in the blood so first is the liver disease like liver cirrhosis and hepatitis next we have kidney disease so in kidney disease we have nephritic and renal syndrome next we have cancer like lymphoma and leukemia in case of diabetes and severe burns in case of infections like tuberculosis and AIDS in case of malnutrition and malabsorption so this is the nutritional disease in case of inflammatory disease like vasculitis and rheumatoid arthritis in case of inflammatory bowel disease and in case of celiac and corn disease that is the autoimmune disease then we have the main causes of uh, this is about the main cause of low uh, albumin in the blood now let's see the treatment if let's suppose the albumin get high in the blood so you have to take uh, water or fluid or you have to rehydrate yourself what will happen due to this rehydration the water level will increase in the body and it will dilute the albumin so the albumin get normal in the body next you have to use the medicine like prednisone that can reduce the inflammation and furosemide that can uh, you know uh, uh, perform the urination process so due to the urination the albumin will be you know excreted from the urine then you have to avoid uh, the rich food uh, like uh, high albumin food okay which I already talked about if let's suppose your albumin level get low so you have to take albumin rich food you have to use the medicine as we talked okay so this is all about the treatment of high and low albumin thank you so much dear viewers for watching this albumin test i hope you like this video if you like this video make sure to hit the like button share this video and definitely subscribe my channel to get more interesting videos like that thank you so much